This is 6 News. Coverage you can count on. We have corrected our technical problems from Baltimore where there is a sense of cautious optimism today as the city tries to get back to normal following Monday night's riots that left several officers injured, stores looted and buildings destroyed. Our Erin Calandra is in Baltimore again and she now has the latest. Erin? Hi, Tim. Sorry about those technical problems. Yeah, we're right here on the corner where everything started. This is where all the riots broke out on Monday night. This is where you saw that curfew. and SWAT gear. They're keeping an eye on this community here in West Baltimore. If you look over on my other side, you can see the media. There are dozens and dozens of news outlets here, local, regional, national, and they're here covering all of these stories. Uh, for the most part right now, things are pretty calm. Time, there were about 500 people, so you can see it's kind of calming down. Now, earlier today, there was just a small incident. We have video of it in this intersection where there was a group of two or three people who were blocking the intersection. They had their arms up in the air in protest. A female officer did go over and talk with those people, and they still refused to leave after a couple of minutes. And uh, after another officer spoke with them, they did walk away peacefully, and nothing seemed to happen with that situation, Tim. And Aaron, what are the resources the community has in dealing with this crisis today? Well, Tim, this city is very unique compared to where we live. Where we live, we have grocery stores in every community. This place is called what they consider a food desert. They don't have a grocery store. They don't have a Walmart. If you look up and down these streets, all they have are small mom and pop shops, and most of them were looted and destroyed during these riots. So they're kind of going through a state of an emergency of sorts here, trying to get food to the people in this community. But on top of that, if you look here at this large building, it's about a five or six story building here. This is a senior citizen's apartment building. Most of the people who live here, they really relied on this CBS, not only for their daily bread and milk and meat, but they also depend There are about 65 people who live in this in this building, hundreds and hundreds of prescriptions that they need on a daily basis. So now the community is coming together. People are volunteering, sororities, taxi companies, and churches are coming together, and they're actually delivering prescriptions to these people. We were there today when they did a food delivery for these people to make sure that they can get the food they need and the prescriptions they need to stay healthy.